Hi, everyone. This is Kevin Ship, your humble, meek, and mild recovering CIA officer, finally coming back to you with uh, some new information. Uh, we have been through several challenges with the family, uh, <clears throat> health issues all at one time. You know how that goes. So anyway, uh, I am beginning again, primarily because I'm being uh, smeared all over the place out there. And I think I know who's behind it, and that would be my former agency. So uh, all that does is make me more determined to begin digging e even deeper into the CIA's uh, domestic surveillance pro program. So uh, I'm going to do that today. I'm going to highlight that today for you all. I'm going to be doing an entire series on this as I dig down into CIA surveillance on we as Americans, how that is tied and will be tied into and is tied into health monitoring of Americans uh, connected to Amazon, Amazon wearables and other things. There, it is a monolith. It is huge. It is massive. <clears throat> Excuse me. It is, it is uh, chilling and quite disturbing. Uh, so we're going to talk about that. Uh, it's good to be back. Uh, I will be doing a full expanded version of this on my Patreon channel. And you'll see that address at the end uh, of this program. And if you want to go uh, into the real nuts and bolts of this, uh, you, you can certainly go there. Anyway, uh, thanks for joining me. And uh, let me get into this and show you what I'm going to be talking about in quite a bit of detail as we go on. And uh, stand by just a moment, and, and there we go. All right, good, good. Um, the CIA, <clears throat> excuse me, everybody. The CIA is bound by law and, of course, by the Constitution from spying on Americans, from having any sort of operational presence within the United States operated against or targeting Americans. That is illegal. Uh, could not, not to mention the fact it's unconstitutional. Uh, but the CIA has pierced that constitutional shield. It has for some 50 years. I would encourage you, if you all have not seen my shadow government presentation on this YouTube channel, uh, programs one, two, and three, I'd recommend uh, you go and, and you watch those. Uh, they're quite eye-opening. And frankly, uh, I have to tell you, <clears throat> When I recorded uh, Shadow Government 1, 2, and 3, I fully expected to be arrested the next day, uh, and my wife and I were ready for that. Uh, it didn't happen. I'm very careful. I know the system. I was a classifying authority with the CIA, so I, I know how to navigate the waters and reveal information, uh, bring information to you uh, without divulging anything that will get me scooped up. So. That's what I do. It takes a lot of time, it takes a lot of research, and it takes a lot of refining. Just to do one program, there's a lot of people out there that want to do me harm. Of course, the CIA wants to silence me, and have been doing, trying to do so, attempting to do so for several years now. That'll be the subject of another program, some of those attacks. Um, but uh, um, I am certainly a target. Uh, I'm a target. Uh, they, they try to attack me, accusing me of copyright violations. They try to, uh, uh, everything I say and write, there are trolls and bots and certain groups that watch, including this, everything that, that I publish and then put uh, pretty nasty comments in my YouTube channels, on my, especially on Twitter and other things. So that has been out there for some time. I'm used to it. Uh, frankly, I don't care. And uh, if any of you have been watching me, I am not concerned with the number of followers I have. Never have been, never will be. I am, I am concerned about the truth and evidence as close as I can get to it. And that's what I uh, publish to you all. Now, if I'm wrong on something, I'll be the first to jump back in and say I was wrong and correct it. And I watch for that all the time. And I could consult multiple sources all the time to make sure my information is solid, researched, and credible. And I owe you guys that. Uh, and so that's, that's what I do. All right, let's get back into this. And let's talk about the CI and how it pierces the veil of the Constitution. Very serious. Now, it's really important here, everybody, to realize that we serve under a constitutional government. And those of you that are people of faith, 
uh, both the Apostle Peter and the Apostle Paul exhorted us that we are to support our government uh, and not talk evil about our government and uh, essentially uh, be, be good citizens uh, living in peace. Uh, and uh, um, we, those of us that are constitutionalists, which I think is probably most of you also, uh, we support and believe in our constitutional form of government. And that has three balanced branches, of course. It's got the executive branch, it's got the Congress, and there's the Capitol building, and it's got the judicial branch, the Supreme Court. This is the most successful and powerful form of government, structural form of government in the history of mankind. And uh, we support this. We uh, we do everything we can to preserve this. And and if all of you have been watching the news, this is under direct attack right now at an unbelievable uh, uh, level. But that's the subject of another program. However, there is one agency that has circumvented this constitutional form of government. It is not part of the government. Uh, Harry Truman, when he created, deeply regretted creating it. And it has circumvented, if you've seen my shadow government presentation, the CIA has circumvented the executive branch, Congress, and the judicial branch, all three branches of, of government, the CIA has violated. And that's what we need to talk about. And that's, uh, uh, that's my mission, essentially, is uh, to expose these violations of our Constitution and the surveillance of American citizens, which, ladies and gentlemen, is really getting scary. The level of surveillance that is here and the level of surveillance that is coming. And I'll be talking about this. Harry Truman, who uh, approved the creation of the CIA. And you know, guys, it's funny because uh, it's Harry S. Truman and his middle name is Chip Solomon Truman. And I understand from the genealogy my brother did that we, we are uh, distant relatives. I am a distant relative of Harry Truman. Now, is that ironic or what? This is what Truman said after he created the CIA. He, he, he regretted it. He called it a, quote, sinister and mysterious agency. And here's uh, an op-ed that he wrote in the Washington Post, which is a mockingbird paper. He didn't realize it at the time when he uh, put this out there because the Washington Post published it and then deleted it three days later. I'll get into the Washington Post connections to the CIA in another program. But this is what Truman said, quote, there is something about the way the CIA has been functioning that is casting a shadow on our historic position of freedom, and I feel we need to correct it, unquote. It was December 22, 1963, in an op-ed in the Washington Post, which was deleted three days later. The CIA, everybody, is the tip of a massive iceberg has tentacles all throughout the United States, has tentacles in every state within the United States through fusion centers. And of course, it, its tentacles extend all around the world. It is, it, its reach, its surveillance, its complexity is massive. What I'm gonna be talking about in the coming weeks is this, the fact that the CIA has pierced the domestic shield of the Constitution and very, very, uh, craftily found a way to surveil American citizens and gather every single piece of our personal information. How do they do it? The CIA formed a branch called NQTEL. NQTEL is the, is the arm of the CIA that goes out to corporations and says, hey, we'll give you X millions of dollars if you will uh, create this um, type of website, uh, AI program, what have you. Now the corporations are like, sure, we'll take your, in the case of Amazon, we'll take your $600 million contract. And so they signed the contract with the CIA. That's like an agreement with the devil. They signed the contract with the CIA and now the CIA is in control of their company. And most of the executives, especially with the Amazon cloud, sign the good old CIA secrecy agreement, which threatens them with prison they talk about anything that they see. This is how the CIA does it. It goes through its, its arm in QTEL. And what in QTEL does is this. It has gained control over Silicon Valley. There are at least 1,000 companies in Silicon Valley, big ones, one of which I'm gonna tell you about in a moment, others I'll get into later. There's 1,000 big companies in Silicon Valley that the CIA has control over. 
most notably is Google. Google hides the fact that the CIA funded the money, provided the money for the creation and operation of Google. And I will get in, and it'll be shocking, I will get into how the CIA operates through Google to gather all of our personal information, all of our data, all of our biometric information. They're, they're trying now through DNA collecting organizations such, such as 23andMe and even Ancestry.com. When you provide DNA information to those uh, uh, organizations like 23andMe, that DNA goes into a database which can be accessed through Google, Silicon Valley companies like Google and ultimately wind up in the hands of the CIA or the Department of Defense. And I'll talk more about total information awareness and what that has become now the company plant here. Uh, it, uh, it will shock you. I would highly advise not to provide your DNA information to anyone. It's kind of too late for many. Uh, that information is already out in the database. And as I get into the wide ranging aspect of how they're using, the CI is using and the DOD is using COVID-19 to establish a massive, and the Biden administration, a massive biometric uh, AI collection system to collect all of our personal and biometric data. It is called um, ARPA-H, or some people call it HARPA. And that is kind of the offshoot of the DOD's Total Information Awareness Program, where HARPA will be, if, if, it, if it is approved and gets through, and Biden is pushing it right now, if HARPA gets through, it will be collecting all of your medical information. And I will show you that that information is available and goes to both the CIA and the Department of Defense. We have entered everybody the surveillance age. Uh, there's nothing that we do anymore. That's private, nothing. Privacy is gone. Privacy is dead. We are in, an, and if you've watched me before, in a post-constitutional government, we are no longer under a deconstitutional government that the founders uh, created, and we all have had the, the blessing of being under. The CIA, the Department of Defense, has circumvented all of that. I'll be getting into Google in some detail. It is a monster. Google is a surveillance monster. So stay tuned because I'll be digging into this in some detail and taking <laughs> the usual risk. Now, the attacks on me continue. Uh, the CIA has been trying to snuff me out for, since uh, goodness gracious, since uh, the year 2000 when I began fighting them because because they were covering up the poisoning of my family on a base that was so secret, they did not want the public to know what they were doing there and they knew I knew. So of course they have been trying to attack me for years. They have also, as they do, like the slide I just showed you, the CIA is going through third parties to attack me also. And uh, I, I expected this. Uh, I basically gave my life to protecting my family and exposing what they did to my family. As the saying goes, uh, you can mess with a man, but you don't mess with his family. They made my kids sick and it resulted in the destruction, taking out and burning of all our personal property, all my kids' toys, baby pictures and everything. So uh, I'll never back down. And I made that commitment from the beginning, but the attacks are starting through third parties. And let me show you. Now, you remember my book from the Company of Shadows. This is the segment of what the CIA did to our family and how they did it. And I had had to send my writings through the CIA for approval. And this is what came back in chapter 26. Nothing here was unclassified. It was a doctor's diagnosis of our family's poisoning. It was uh, environmental studies of what was in the house. And this is what the CIA did to it. This is a violation of federal law an executive order passed by Ronald Reagan, that it is illegal for the CIA to black out information just because it is embarrassing or they're trying to cover something up. But indeed, they did it. They weaponized the system of secrecy. I have a chapter called Tyranny of Secrecy, and that is the new tyranny with the shadow government and the CIA, the abuse, the gross abuse of secrecy. They would not let me identify my family in the book couldn't mention their names, which is ridiculous. And this is the picture in the book of my family. <laughs> is it, I know, is it, how ridiculous can, can they get? 
But this is the picture that was allowed in my book of my family. I couldn't mention their names or their identities. Uh, and of course, they blacked out their, uh, tried to black out their identities. Uh, as some of you know, because of this, I built a code into from, from the company's shadows that reveals what these blackouts are saying. And if you want to have some fun with the book, uh, the easiest code, there's one very complicated code. The easiest code, you go to the epilogue, look at what they blacked out at the top, then go down to the bullets and take the first letter of each bullet and it spells out what they blacked out. Uh, so that's one of, the, one of the easier ones and one of the fun ones. Now, uh, I am being smeared all over the internet. Here's an example. Now, I'm not going to mention the names. Well, it'll be pretty obvious who these people are. Uh, but I am not into personal attacks. Uh, I am into exposing people that have dark connections to the CIA and are lying about who they are. Uh, and, and I will expose those people. But here, uh, the attacks continue. And here's one of the big ones that they have circulated around the internet trying to silence me as usual. Um, behind all this, everybody, the CIA knows what I know, and I know a lot. Uh, I was a uh, ranking officer in the CIA, I've been around the world of stations. I worked on the seventh floor, I, I was on the director's staff, and other uh, high level positions I, I don't want to discuss. So the CIA is paranoid, uh, but what they don't understand, and CIA psychiatrists can be some of the kookiest people you can meet, but what they don't understand is I'm a person of honor. I signed an agreement to protect the information, and I will do that unless it jeopardizes our Constitution clearly. And I will do it in a fashion that protects any of the classified information that I had ac ac access to regarding that. But the CIA uh, is uh, terrified that I will reveal the rest of what I know, which I will never do. There's no reason to do that. But I will expose the poisoning of my family and their cover-up. You can count on it. All right. Here is something interesting I just want you all to know. This is a picture of Major General Paul Vallely, supposed CIA officer Wayne Simmons, and uh, Admiral Thomas, uh, Air Force uh, General Thomas McInerney, here all gathered together. And then this mysterious lady at the bottom, they're all connected to. Now, I want to alert you all to this uh, because um, it's going to be very relevant. Wayne Simmons, false CIA officer. He was lying the entire time. He was not a CIA officer. He was a fake. Now, poor Donald Rumsfeld was even snowed. Rumsfeld put a picture of him and Wayne Simmons and mentioned Wayne in his book, uh, not knowing that Wayne was a plant and Wayne it was fake. I'd encourage you to search that out. He was a Fox News analyst until they were embarrassed to find out that he was false. Uh, General Vallely was a Fox News analyst and then uh, was never called on again. And Thomas McElerney was fired from Fox News for some of the comments that he made. So this is extremely concerning, everyone. This is factual information. Paul Vallely was connected to, to uh, NSA General Michael Aquino, who was a practicing Satanist and the high priest of the Temple of Set. I would encourage you all to uh, Google that. He was a high-ranking official in the, the uh, NSA and a practicing Satanist, and everybody knew it. Now, Paul Vallely and General Aquino wrote a paper together called From PSYOP to Mind War about manipulating the thoughts of even American citizens through psychological operations. I would encourage you to Google that and check out the facts about that. Even uh, more concerning, General Vallely, uh, there are photo, it's photographs, there's documented, General, and I, I also know of this personally. Uh, General Vallely was up photographed uh, training the Islamic Free Syrian Army in Syria with bandoliers of, of uh, ammunition crossed around his, his uh, um, chest. Uh, with the top leaders of the Free Syrian Army, the Islamic Free Syrian Army. Every Islamic 
free army is as one goal, and that is the establishment of a global Islamic caliphate. The religion demands it. Now, Paul Vallely was photographed in a truck with FSA leaders that had ISIS writings on the side of it. Now, the CIA was operating and training the Free Syrian Army. You can't tell me that Paul Vallely went up with his little old self and uh, lead, led and trained the Free Syrian Army without being connected to the CIA. Uh, that's, just, uh, that's just impossible. It was a CIA operation. Okay? Those photographs are out there. At least they, I think they're still out there. You can Google those and you can dig those photographs up. Uh, connected to the CIA, uh, very concerning. General Thomas McInerney. General Thomas McInerney uh, was, uh, came out and made the claim uh, using the quote unquote hammer super spy system. And you can see my analysis of that on this, on this channel. But uh, McInerney uh, came out and claimed that the hammer super spy system had altered the election, had stole the election, that the CIA had stole the election. Now he's being fed information from a fraud and a con man known as Dennis Montgomery, and that is well documented in court cases and in newspaper articles and other things, uh, uh, Dennis Montgomery's background. McInerney is directly connected to him and is directly communicating with him. So McInerney came out and, and claimed that the U.S. Army, uh, because of Hammer and the CIA had stole the election, the U.S. Army raided a CIA base and several people were killed. That didn't happen, everybody. That was a lie. The raid never happened. No one has ever killed. It was a complete fabrication. These two men, Valerie and McInerney, are directly connected to a lady by the name of Mary Fanning. Mary Fanning will not show her face in interviews, and her background is completely hidden. I would encourage you to Google Mary Fanning, the mysterious Mary Fanning. No past and uh, a concealed identity. These two men are connected to Mary Fanning, who is directly connected to Dennis Montgomery. I want you all to be aware of that. Why are they doing this is the big question. I'll let you answer that. I, I, I know <laughs> myself, but I will let you answer that. Why are they doing this? Why are they lying? And I would encourage you to stay with this story, everybody. Uh, just stay with it. All right. One thing you can count on, everybody, is that I will not allow myself to be threatened. And this, this smear machine just makes me more determined. When are they going to learn? The more they attack me, the more determined I get. They hurt and poisoned my children. And... I will expose the shadow government completely and deeply and reveal the complexity of the CIA's operate, oper, operating, gathering data and surveilling U.S. citizens on a grand scale and taking ownership of much of Silicon Valley. I will do that. Now, of course, you can catch me on kevinchip.com. Um, uh, I had uh, all of my programs all of my slides, all of my information on my PC, and my PC crashed. And uh, they told me that the hard drive could not be recovered and no data on the hard drive can be recovered. Well, I had Carbonite backup. So I went to Carbonite and Carbonite did not have any of the information from that computer. It was gone. I had to go in, it took me about three months I had to go in and recreate all of my slides, all of my programs, and all of the presentations that I had done on the shadow government. I have a website up that is kevinship.com. I will be posting a lot of information there. Uh, and of course, there's a comment section. All of the documents the CIA tried to black out and tried to conceal and threaten me with prison if I revealed my evidence. All of those documents I have put at kevinship.com in the upper blue bar. You can go up there, and I just revealed it all. It was illegal for what they did. Uh, they poisoned my family. It was a violation of the Constitution and a violation of law. So I put all those documents up there. Patreon.com slash Kevin underscore ship. That is where I am going to be going into great detail regarding uh, unveiling the
the shadow government and the CIA's reach within the United States. Now, everybody, I got to pay the bills. When I came out and blew the whistle on the CIA and sued them, uh, I lost my pension and my retirement. So uh, this is basically my only source of income is on patreon.com. So uh, you can go there, you can find my deep dives into the shadow government, and uh, I would deeply appreciate it if you support me on one of those tiers, because that's what keeps me going. I also have an alternate site, subscribestar.com slash Kevin Dash Ship, uh, and I put the tier one programs on subscribestar.com for those of you uh, who, uh, who want to subscribe to Subscribestar. You can follow me on Twitter at Kevin under, underscore Ship, uh, and over the next uh, two months, I would recommend you do that uh, uh, because I am going to be uh, uh, fully exposing the shadow government's reach uh, and, and attempts to, uh, uh, I have to be careful what I say right now, uh, uh, attempts to uh, uh, penetrate up into the highest levels of our government. And you can find that on twitter.com. So everybody, I, I hope uh, th this benefited you uh, stay tuned uh, uh, with this program, and uh, there's more to come. Thanks for joining me.